good morning. I'm Jen Houston, the owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to the Creative Escape. So this morning, we're going to use a simple layout that you can change up with whatever products that you have at home. However, if you do like some of the products that I use here today, of course you are able to purchase those through me and I would love to help you out, get you a catalog um, and be your demonstrator. That would be wonderful. Um, so, stitch nested label dies are going to be the feature this morning. And uh, I don't know, I, I quite like this layout and it's so simple but you can make it as exciting or not as you like. And, um, oh, we've already got people on here. Sandy, Amy, and Kathy, good morning. So I love that they said hello and uh, they're popping on. We like to chit chat back and forth on here. Uh, it's more than just cards, of course. This is uh, about friendships too. And so these ladies are wonderful ladies. So if you need friends this morning, you're feeling lonely, pop on in and uh, we will chit chat with you and have some fun creating. All right, so first off, I wanna show you some um, cards, some happy mail that I received. I love having happy mail, just like you do. So speaking of happy mail, if you haven't already seen, pop over to the Facebook page where it's Mail It Out Monday choose a number between one and 10 and I will draw tomorrow. Actually, I don't draw, I just use that random random picker and whatever number pops up, those people will get um, a handmade card in the mail from me. How easy is that? So pick a number between one and 10 to let me know what that is over on Mail It Out Monday and, that, uh, and then your chances may be great to get a handmade card. Hi, Ruby, nice to see you. All right, back to the screen. Let me see if I got it. I had it, and then I switched it. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. There we are. I think that is good. Okay, happy mail. Look at this beautiful card I got from Holly. Oh my goodness, what a what an awesome design. And I don't even know what set this um this saying is, but it's beautiful. And she, oh, you got ha your happy mail. Awesome, Sandy. Oh, I know, it's fun. Hey, you open up the mailbox and you see an envelope here. It just, ah, <laughs> it makes my day, I'll tell you. Isn't that beautiful? And she, she embossed it with the copper foil. Even this is embossed. It's beautiful. You know, I never did buy this ribbon, but you know, seeing it in person makes me want to get some. <laughs> The trouble with happy mail right <laughs> but oh what a beautiful design and I love how this the layering ovals with the stitched oval shape that looks stunning I love it and look she decorated the inside there too this is another beautiful saying um, such kind words Holly thank you hopefully you'll get to see the replay when I share this this beautiful card hi karma nice to see you so yes, that was a beautiful piece of happy mail. And I got this from one of the gals in the condo. So it's quite neat. It's it, The bird is kind of a diff, a, a more glossy, I guess, than say the rest of the card. So it's really quite neat. So that's fun. And another lady in the condo here, she um, is a, she likes to watercolor paint. I think Rob is a little jealous when I get your cards. <laughs> Well, maybe he needs some too then, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I know Kevin, I think, feels the same way. So it was really nice that uh, Lisa sent him a birthday card the other day. and made him, made him see what I, what I get to feel every time I get happy mail. But isn't that beautiful, watercolor painting? So she just wrote a little message inside her watercolor paper. So cute. And then another lady from the condo. And I don't know if this you can pick up the shine and the shimmer, but there's it's kind of like that stuff. Uh, oh, Nita got hers too. Hi, Lisa. Awesome. It's kind of like that stuff that we have now with the the um, glitter glue kind of idea. Hi, Lois. So oh, it's so pretty. It's, it's more pretty in person. I tell. Oh, maybe you can see how you can grasp it a little bit. Beautiful. So thank you so much for your happy mail. Nope. 
Mine, all mine. <laughs> oh, Sandy. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, now I got glitter everywhere. That's okay. I'm going to the endodontist this afternoon in Calgary. I'll be all shiny and shimmery and <laughs> maybe it'll be nice to me. Ooh. I'm just getting the assessment done. So, Ooh. All right, so let me show you what we're making today. Um, here are some of the examples that you would have seen already, but I kind of wanted to um, kind of focus on it a little bit more. So this is one of my favorites that I've done. I just, I think it's the color combo that makes it just pop and makes it absolutely stunning. But here's that stitched nested label die and another one. And um, just by cutting it at a certain measurement, um, you can, you know, make it fit into kind of this puzzle piece of sorts, I suppose. But I just, I love it and I've been using it a lot. And so here are some cards that I'm sending out with um, the catalogs, that the new catalogs that are coming out. And um, so this one, I stamp the image onto the nested label die and cut it. And on this one, I just used some of that beautiful poppy paper, the new painted poppies, gorgeous. So I used the designer series paper and cut it. I don't know if you can check out this um, background. I'll show it a little more in focus, I suppose, later. But, oh boy, that's another new thing that's coming out. Save your pennies. <laughs> so I, I, and you know, what a nice saying, celebrate every moment. That could be for so many reasons, right? So many um, occasions, I should say. But what a neat co uh, co uh, color combo too, the pool party. Blackberry Bliss, and then the hits of red and green. Beautiful. That tufted folder is just so rich looking, makes cards look posh. Yes, and that's what I used on that um, that one. It is, it, it's a, it's, and it's not overpowering. Sometimes they're a little too busy, <laughs> but it's just nice and simple and, and adds a little something, right? And so, as I think I had mentioned before, this is actually the opposite side of this paper. So you get this beautiful poppy watercolor painting there. Hi, Janelle. Nice to see you. And totally different color combo, right? So flirty flamingo and poppy parade. But it's kind of fun how you can interchange, you know, just based on the paper side. You can change up the cards, but really make them pretty much the same. Also, the, the larger shape is on, you know, opposite ends, which really doesn't matter, right? And I'll show you why that happened. Um, but um, I think they're beautiful. So if you are in need of a catalog, uh, the brand new ca catalog's coming out very soon. Sorry, my watch is beeping. Um, I will be sending you one of these handmade cards inside your package. So. If you live in Canada and aren't dealing with another demonstrator, I would love to send you a catalog. Okay, first up, here, we're gonna make kind of a, we're gonna do the stamped version today. So I've got my piece of Whisper White, the thick cardstock. So this is measuring at eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm gonna fold it in half. And my bone folder, whoop, with a pen. I was re-inking my ink pads and got, you know, ink every, <laughs> everywhere. Hi, Annette. Nice to see you. I haven't talked to you in a while, so that's great. Hi, Jennifer. Good morning. Good to see you on here, too. So, simple card base. And then I cut a layer of, another layer of Whisper White. And it's measuring at three and three quarters by five. And you'll notice this beautiful... Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful pattern? It's gorgeous. And so I'm gonna be doing a class just with this embossing folder some Wednesday, Wednesday evening, because uh, there are so many ways that you can jazz this up and change it to make it a little bit different. So be watching for that in the new year for sure. But this is the embossing folder, and it's one of those thick ones, which you should, 
use one of the blue, one of these blue embossing plates. Um, it just helps add the texture because there's different layers of bumps. I don't know if it, I don't know if the camera can see. So some are, you know, little bumps and some are much bigger, deeper ridges, right? And so that, that plate helps to kind of create all of those different layers. So like I said, save your pennies because this is a beautiful set. So that's going to be our next layer. And here is our little stitched nested label, once again in Whisper White. And this is actually the second largest in the set. So of course there's multiple sizes that come in the um, stitched nested label dies. There's the largest and then this one is the second largest. That's one I'll be using today. Okay, so then I thought, oh, I haven't used Beautiful Friendship in a long time. So I thought, okay, my chance to use this. So. Here we go, I'm gonna get out these colors. I thought about, I wanna do actually kind of a, a soft look. So, so saffron, petal pink, and um, soft sea foam. So this beautiful big flower, which I love. Let's do that in yellow. I haven't done a yellow card in a while. Maybe I'll switch up the colors and do it all yellow. Why not? There we go. I'm just going to stamp that in the center. Now I'm hoping that my table is flat here. Otherwise, give it a little rub. Or you can use one of those foam mats. There we are. You know, I'm kind of tempted to use, well, no, I'm not going to. All right, and there's this little sprig here. Mm -hmm. I guess the white looks better on that. So I thought about using petal pink with that. So let's just add some zips of things here. In different areas. Lastly, I have my little leaves here. Soft sea foam. So I have, there's a set of two little leaves. That's two, three. Doo, doo, doo. Hold on. Let's go in there. And then there's a set of three leaves. Some, what color should I use? Maybe we'll accentuate the um, so saffron. So I've got a so saffron, the dark blender pen, and let's just, I want to splat it. Just adds a little whimsy to it. Can't see very much, but it's there. And speaking of splatter, I think we need some Wink of Stella. Hello. So let's flick some of that on there too. And then that way, just like that car, card I got from one of my condo friends, you'll just kind of tilt it a certain way and you're like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> I tend to forget, forget about soft sea foam when I'm looking for green. Yes. It's one of those hidden gems for sure. I like it. Um, but there again, I do like the soft, calm kind of colors. Um, so that's, that's how that works. All right, check out this cute little um, paper cutter that you will be able to order in January. It's great for travel. It's great for um, single paper use. So it's not great if you have a, if you're doing classes. 
um, unless you want to take this like on location with you instead of your big paper trimmer, but it does kind of tend to stick with one paper at a time kind of thing. So if you place your um, item, this stitch nested label die, in at, now I flip it up, I, I tend to flip the image upside down and I go to two and three quarters. I don't know if you can see that. So I just put the point at two and three quarters and then watch. I like that noise. <laughs> Silly things, you know, do it for me, I tell you. Okay, so then now your image is just cut into two, but it's all right. I have another little stitch nested label die. This is the third smallest and this great saying, so very happy to know you. That is like the perfect um, sentiment to get in the mail, don't you think? Now, should I try this with yellow? Hopefully it'll be bright enough. You can still see the who and the hooray <laughs> from the sip sip hooray class that I did the other day. Cute. So very happy to know you. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So let's just start assembling here. Now, because this is bumpy, by the way, happy birthday, Lisa! Woohoo! The big five one. Woohoo! So, uh, should we all sing happy birthday to her? Okay, you gotta sing along with me, okay? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yay! We all hope you have a wonderful day, Lisa. Hopefully you'll watch the replay and see this because I'm not gonna sing again. <laughs> But, oh, you deserve the best day ever. So I'm hope, I hope it's going well for you so far. All right, so see what reminded me of Lisa, the multi-purpose liquid glue. Because it's so bumpy, it's hard to use snail. And it's hard to make the snail stick really well. This way, the liquid glue kind of sifts into those cracks and crevices and uh, helps it to stay in place not kind of peel up so there we go and here we are with these oh I love it already okay so we're just gonna glue that I'm gonna use this liquid glue again because now we're gluing on top of that pattern so that key measurement is two and three quarters for where you want to slice that stitch nested label die And then we're just placing this one off to the side. So this one works great with that, um, that free as a bird stamp, but some people were sad because this poor little bird was all by his lonesome, <laughs> which you know, kind of is true. He's a little lonely guy. Oh, oh karma. <laughs> so with this stamp I found you know it's kind of like it's got the big version there and the small version and so you know if everybody's happy because they're you know together <laughs> all right now this one I want to actually pop up with dimensionals because this is the important part right but could you see this card as a wedding card a sympathy card um, anything anniversary happy birthday shower all sorts of things this could be and such an easy idea okay let's pop that down like so now I think this is screaming for some of that polka dot ribbon now I'm gonna tie a bow let's see how this works oh Amy's singing too that's awesome Yes, thank you, Kathy. I'm sure she'll absolutely love the, the happy birthdays. 
I was shocked to hear how old she was last year. I totally didn't picture her as that. She sure looks young. <laughs> I totally thought she was my age. So Lisa, you're looking great. Okay, got myself a bow. Let's. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, this side's a little, little funny. scissors to trim this guy like so and I think I, I don't know if I should just place it there yeah get some glue dots I don't know I have so much trouble at card classes because people want to take this whole thing off and then of course all those glue dots are just out in the open and they they don't um, of course they don't stick anymore so what I like to do is I cover the keep them all covered and then I peel back and fold back so just one is out in the open and then I of course press whatever I'm gonna stick to it onto it and then when I need another one I just peel it back and squish it with my thumb like so okay bow in there. Just looks so cute and feminine. That one's okay, I think. All right. Um, I think I'm going to add some pearls. Just because. I like pearls. Careful in how you say old. I'm 75 and feeling like my 50s. Hey! That's important. It's all in how you feel, hey? Sorry about that if I if I offended you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, pearls. Not my intention. Where's my tinker pick tool? Well, I guess we'll have to make do with the scissors. Know. We'll do it like the olden days. Um, I'm going to place it on this um, ooh, ladder side. Might be tough to glue onto the, um, the bumpy parts. I think I'm just going to go with three. Just be simple and just elegant and leave it at that. So here's kind of our white on white on white. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? And of course, I know you didn't. Oh, good. Good. Just got it. Okay, good. <laughs> Tie a piece of that ribbon loosely around your house. Dots. Or some thread. Makes it easier to control the dots. Your house dots. Or some thread. I don't know what that means. Explain again. I'm curious. I like it. It's just very elegant and simple. So much could be like so many for so many different occasions, and change up the you know flower colors, and you have so many different kinds of cards that you could have. Just change up the backgrounds, what have you. Simple, simple, right? Okay. Next one is actually a card that's going to be coming out in my new I'm gonna try a retreat in a box so um, coming up soon in the new year this is some of the new products can you color pearls like the rhinestone absolutely you can yes using those uh, stamp and blends because of course they're alcohol based and so they they're kind of permanent thank you ladies oh work work oh. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you. So, yeah, new exciting products. So, I've got myself a card base of Flirty Flamingo. And here's some of the new card stock. It's going to be Valentine's. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Pretty pattern. 
but I'm gonna use this side. So there again, it's measuring at three and three quarters by five. So not, not the quarter in, but actually a half inch smaller than the card base size. Right, my snail tape. So this one, we're gonna use um, the designer series paper as opposed to stamping on the stitch nested label bag. So, you know, there's options. So pretty. I like this color combo. All right, and so for the stitch nested label die, I'm, I'm using this paper with these cute little arrows, but on the back side are these little hearts and they actually are shimmery, which is kind of fun. Thanks, Julie. Thanks for sharing. So there we go. Do y'all remember the magic number? Can you yell it out? Two and three quarters. Tie a piece of thin ribbon or thread around your glue loosely. Helps distribute them and will keep ladies from tying. Yes. You know, I thought so. I did that too. <laughs> I know what you're saying now. Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, they put they untied the bow. <laughs> so you know that and, and I shouldn't be hard on them because really I, it's my job to teach them. So I need to be, you know, but you forget, right? You just assume that oh people everybody knows how to use glue dots, but yes, no, I need to. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, just those things you take for granted. Okay, remember two and three quarters is your measurement. <laughs> Love that noise. I've missed that noise. They used to have a little trimmer like that. Okay, let's place this on here. Now with this pattern, we could go this way or we could go this way. Let's ch change things up. Let's switch it around. Let's go on this side this time. So getting out my glue, my snail. This piece isn't patterned and bumpy, so I'm just gonna go back to my snail. What I'm familiar with. Oh, seriously, eh? <laughs> yep, they totally untied the bow. You come over there and you're like, <laughs> oh, I thought this was foolproof. <laughs> well, that's all right. Okay, so I'm placing this smaller piece on that side, just kind of lining that up nicely in there. And then what I thought was, check this out. They're having doilies. I know. So you get a package of little heart doilies. So there's the flirt, uh, 20 of the flirty flamingo and 20 of the red. But of course, you can always flip it over and you can have yourself some white, which I actually kind of like with this pattern. So I think I'm gonna use that instead of that little piece that sits in there. I think it'll look kind of cute. And um, here's that, the stamp set that goes along with kind of this suite. So such great sentiments. I'm gonna be using these a lot for not even with um, Valentine cards. Leaving the dots in their box and trying to feel them out is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> You won't be feeding them too much. Don't you just love spell check that changes what you type? Oh, my mother, my mother gets so mad. Oh, so I love you lots. You could use that on so many cards. Love, of course. So lucky to have a friend like you. That doesn't need to be Valentine's. Being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. Eat it, you know? Roses are red, violets are blue. So lucky to have a friend like you. But, you, you know, use those interchangeably. And for my heart to use yours, as I had said before, um, it would not be so cute on the back of your cards. And then just stamp, you know, a little heart or a little thing, you know, above it or beside it or something. Um, just to kind of, maybe we should try that on this card here. But, you know, just one happy Valentine's great which of course they all come this set comes with punches so you've got a straight punch oh look at me check out my double chins <laughs> and then you have a scalloped punch there's my camera that's what it looks like up in the air <laughs> so scalloped and a straight I don't know where to put it and the cool part is some of the paper 
that comes in this set are they're big but look it so this straight punch I punched out and it gets the inside with the dots Here, let me see show you so it gets that inside with the dots perfectly and then of course the scallops if you wanted to uh, punch that layer out. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So how awesome is that, that they coordinate the designer series paper to match with those punches? Mom said to me, didn't you learn to spell in school 30 years ago? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and nowadays some of the kids spelling, oh my goodness. They spell wrong on purpose. Oh. It's not my thing. <laughs> okay, so what I was gonna use was this little punched out heart over top of our little lace doily. So the what I was gonna stamp was this. So lucky to have a friend like you. And I think I'm gonna use, I think it's real red. Now, I don't even know. So a way you can find out is the paper, oh, because this is, hmm, because it's a foil paper, I can't show you the catalog yet. I believe it's real red. Um, normally on your paper, it comes with kind of a cardboard sheet and it tells you what colors these coordinate with. So then you don't have to take any guesses. I really think that's what that is. Um, oh no, it should work, but it really, really doesn't. <laughs> okay, so loading up with real red here. And I love that they thought see this is shiny this um, pink part but the white part is just kind of very flat so hello so you can stamp and it's not going to go smearing across everywhere perfect isn't that cute okay so i'm going to glue this down like so So this is one of the cards that's going to be in the upcoming retreat in a box. So you'll have a bunch of projects you can do at home on your own little retreat. Where are my dimensionals? There they are. So you'll have all the instructions, you'll have all of the stuff you need to create all these fun projects. and you'll be ready for Valentine's. Will the retreat in a box include everything or will you have to get stuff outside the box too? Um, it won't come with the stamp set and punches, but I will be offering a discount if you order that. So you'll get a, a normally a bundle is 10% off, but I will be giving you a, um, ten, another 10% 10 off just of my own. So it's really a good deal and it will be lots of fun to especially to work with kids or whatnot to make their Valentine. So uh, you can look in the catalog for colors too. Yes, I can look in the catalog. I just can't show you. <laughs> um, soon, soon I will be able to. All right, I think it needs pearls again. Love me some pearls. And you know, since Sandy was asking, let's color up those pearls, just like we you know, can do with our rhinestones. So this one was real red, so I'm gonna get real red, the dark one and you just use your watercolor end. Um, what size do I want? I ah, will just go with the littles. So there again, just color over top. See how great that, nice and bright that goes? Three, we'll try three and see what we think. Okay, peel that off since I can't find my take your pick tool. One there. to see in those um, 
the pattern, I suppose. Do you need one anywhere else? Do you need one in here? Let's go with a big one in there. This one's jumping off, it must want out. How easy to make up your own colors, right? Uh, flirty Flamingo, Real Red, and Whisper White. Perfect! <laughs> Looks like more colors. I will be using this bundle along with some stamps in the annual catalog for my next class. Yeah, yeah. You were asking about this, this bundle. Or which was my, there, which was my favorite Valentine set. It was pretty neat. I, I like I like these sayings. They're very versatile. That's you know, and that's my number one thing. I, a stamp set has got to be versatile. Otherwise, I'm not going to use it. Or I'm going to use it once, and that's I need more than that. Okay, so uh, there's this neat arrow, and since these are all little arrows on our card, I thought, okay, let's make this for the inside. Do, 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 do. Wow, nice. Now for the envelope, what should we do? We kind of have that lacy doily. So maybe if we were to use this nice uh, stamp on the envelope, that would be pretty. it up with the flirty flamingo. Pretty. I think I'll do one on the front. Will I make it? I did it! <laughs> Yay! Now, I think to add some of that um, red in, let's use this wee little heart. So cute. To work with of course you want to find the block that's closest in size because then you don't end up rocking and get getting those halos as we call them those little lines and of course the these kind of um ink pads are not like the olden day ink pads right so that's just tap 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 barely hitting it there's no making out and because all you're going to do is going to get ink all over the place and then of course that ink travels to your hands travels to your cards to <gasps> travels to your face you yeah, know well i think oh thank heaven for photopolymer yes so just little taps that's all you need otherwise you're gonna make a mess so i'm barely even pushing for that photopolymer, yes. <laughs> Isn't that a cute little addition? Do we need one more in here? Why not? Maybe we'll add one kind of off a little bit. All right, we are golden with the envelope golden with the inside so let's just attach those and then we have a beautiful valentine's card it isn't all mushy gushy so you're okay to give it to you know your neighbor or your co
coworker that doesn't know, I love you. You are the best thing in my life. No. It's just kind of a safe card. <laughs> All right. So there's our cards that we made today using the same layout. Just using either a stamp set to decorate with or some designer series paper. And here are some of the others that I have here. And once again, if you think these are pretty neat, I would love to send you a catalog and some um, one of these cards in the mail. And uh, as long as you live in Canada and aren't dealing with an another demo, that would be awesome. All right, ladies, thanks for joining me. You remember the magic number? Two and three quarters is what you cut that at. And I'm sure, I wonder if you could use different shapes, like an oval, for instance. So if you don't have the stitch nested label dies, what about an oval? If you cut it, you know, at a certain measurement might work. Give this technique and layout idea a try and post pictures of it because we'd love to learn from each other. And um, of course, it gives us lots of neat ideas to try, right? All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Can I get a catalog? Absolutely, Jennifer, I will send you one in the mail. And um, I'm off to the dentist this afternoon, think me. Uh, otherwise, I will see you Wednesday night at 7 o'clock where we're going to have one certain item that we use four different ways. All right, have a good day.